But next on our programme this evening, it is claimed competition for jobs in our region has hit a high not seen for several decades. On average, applications for roles have more than doubled since January. With a fresh lockdown and business closures on the way, the jobs market is set to become even more crowded, as Nick Smith now reports. While many companies have been snookered by COVID, this firm, which supplies leisure items like pool tables and pinball machines, is one of the lucky ones. The first lockdown saw a surge in customers, with people wanting distractions while confined to their homes. The managing director tells me he decided to recruit more staff and was shocked by the level of interest. We just get inundated, particularly for distribution. It, you just get absolutely swamped. So you know, normally, within a couple of weeks, for a van driver, you might get 100 applications. But as soon as we put it on, I think within about four hours, we had about 800 people apply. And it's just too many to be able to cope with, to be honest. Unemployment is on a steady rise in the southwest. 117,000 people in the region were out of work in the last quarter, a rate of 4.1% and an increase of 16,000 on the previous quarter. This recruitment firm has seen a four or five-fold increase in applications for certain roles. At their offices, I met Hannah Lambert. She's a flight attendant on summer season contracts and often applies for temping jobs in the winter, but this year it's been a real struggle. It was quite a shock because like, normally I have so much confidence with finding a job to cover me for the winter period and this year I was like, oh, OK. And that's probably when I started to realise, right, I'm going to need to, I don't want to have to go through this again because it's, you know, financially it's a bit scary and so, yeah, I've had to really consider changing my career. While Kirsten Duncan is a recent graduate from the University of Exeter, her desired career in events management is on hold while she's looking for other work but finds herself competing with more experienced applicants for entry-level positions. Even when you know you're capable of the job, you're not even getting past the first or second stage and it's quite difficult to get, to get recognised right now because when you're in some of these job boards you can see how many people are applying for positions, so it's quite demoralising. The area of the market that's been most disproportionately affected has been the 16 to 24 year olds. We have um, heavily skilled candidates coming to market that are now open to new opportunities um, and opportunities that maybe they wouldn't have considered previously. Um, we are finding we've got triple, maybe quadruple the applications coming through for just one role, um, so it's, it's, it's a very, very busy, busy market at the moment. However, it's not all doom and gloom. While some sectors of the economy won't be hiring for the foreseeable future, other industries are seeing growth. A number of businesses have been adapting their business model in light of the pandemic. And for a lot of firms, this means they're kind of digitalizing their businesses. And so they are looking particularly for digital skills to kind of accelerate growth in these areas. Um, at the same time, we know that the government is looking to support the recovery by investing in the so-called green economy. So it's likely that there'll be new jobs created. The restrictions imposed by this pandemic has led to many having to rethink their entire careers. And while the furlough scheme has been extended for another month, it may just delay a further increase in the ever-growing pool of job seekers. Nick Smith, ITV News.